Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In his first public speech after returning home from the United States and Egypt visit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today laid a strong case for adopting the Uniform Civil Code and accused the opposition of misleading minorities on the issue purely for vote bank politics. The Prime Minister, in a complete free flow, a very, very energetic conversation with BJP Karyakartas in Madhya Pradesh said minorities were victims of opposition's appeasement or tushtikaran politics. He argued that the Uniform Civil Code is meant to ensure minority um, empowerment and rights leading to satisfactory development or santushtikaran, clearly differentiating between appeasement and delivery on the basis of governance and uniform laws. The Law Commission too recently pointed out to gender inequalities and injustices stemming from various personal laws in operation. The Prime Minister today seemed to have built on the argument to suggest that opposing UCC will deprive the minorities of their own rights in the name of protecting their unique religious identities. Prime Minister's words have triggered a predictable outrage from AIMIM chief Asaduddin Owesi and parties such as the Congress and the DMK. They argue that the UCC was aimed to humiliate Muslims as part of a sinister saffron agenda. Really? Because it's been part of the directive principles since the constitution was made in section 44, point number 4. How does it become saffron agenda when the constituent assembly debated the issue? Well, they further claim that uniformity will be detrimental to plurality, which lies at the heart of the Indian democracy. Let's first listen in to Prime Minister Modi's pitch for the Uniform Civil Court. Today we are seeing that the Uniform Civil Court is being done for such people. You tell me that the Uniform Civil Court is being done in one house परिवार के एक सदस्य के लिए एक कानून हो परिवार के दूसरे सदस्य के लिए दूसरा कानून हो तो क्या वो घर चल पाएगा क्या कभी भी चल पाएगा क्या फिर ऐसी दोहरी व्यवस्था से देश कैसे चल पाएगा हमें याद रखना है कि भारत के संविधान में भी नागरिकों के समान अधिकार की बात कही गई है और सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बार बार कहा है सुप्रीम कोर्ट डंडा मारती है कह रही है कॉमन सिविल कोड लाओ लेकिन ये वोट बैंक के भूखे लोग कुछ लोग सिर्फ अपने दल के लिए जीते हैं उन्होंने जो रास्ता चुना है उसमें ज्यादा मेहनत नहीं करनी पड़ती और ये रास्ता है तुष्टीकरण का वोट बैंक का भाजपा ने ये तय किया है कि हमें तुष्टीकरण के रास्ते पर नहीं चलना है सच्चा रास्ता है संतुष्टीकरण the opposition has further alleged that leave alone minorities such as Sikhs but even Hindus including the tribals will reject the UCC. Listen in. Pasmanda Musalman ki Padan Mantri baat kar rahe hai Nasik mein, Maharashtra mein Padan Mantri ko bata rahe hai ke do musalmano ko aap ki sarkar mein do ko, do musalmano ko jo pasmanda musalman hai unko mob lynching kar rahe gaurakshak अब ये गौरक्षक की छत्रसाह में आपके नहीं है क्या प्रधानमंत्री बताइए आप बीजेपी सपोर्ट नहीं करती इनको प्रधानमंत्री हमको ये बताओ कि फिर आप कर्नाटका में रिजर्वेशन क्यों निकाले भैया वही तो पसमानदा बैकवर्ड क्लास ऑफ मुस्लिम्स को मिल रहा था ना एक मुसलमान आपका एमपी नहीं है एक मुस्लिम मिनिस्टर आपके पास नहीं है बिलखी इस बानो के खातिलों को उसके रेप करने वालों को आपने छोड़ा जैसे जैसे चुनाव नजदीक आएगा भारतीय जनता पार्टी नफरत की राजनीति को बढ़ावा देगी नफरत की राजनीति की बात करेगी 
उनको जनता के असली मुद्दों पर चर्चा नहीं करना चाहती क्योंकि जनता के असली मुद्दों पर उन्होंने कोई काम नहीं किया इसलिए जनता का असली मुद्दों से ध्यान भटकाने के लिए इस तरह की राजनीति को बढ़ावा देगी लेकिन देश की जनता इस बार होशियार है वो दो में जनता के असली मुद्दों पर वोट करेगी और भारतीय जनता पार्टी को सत्ता से उखाड़ सकेगी उनसे ये कोई पूछे कि जब आप जय श्री राम कह के और लोगों को एक लोगों को के अंदर में एक हिंसा का भाव पैदा कर रहे थे जो कि राम का नाम लेकर या सीताराम का नाम लेकर सदियों से एक धर्म को मानते हैं और उस पर विश्वास करते हैं उस धर्म के लोगों को हिंदू को खासकर आपने इस तरह के आक्रमक बनाने का क्यों प्रयास किया मीन वाइल द बीजेपी रिमाइंडेड द ने सेयर दैट यूनिफॉर्मिटी is an ideal enshrined in india's constitution and its authors understood the need for one nation one law to forge national identity and create a modern society based on the principles of justice and equality while preserving their unique cultural traditions and values the bjp has also pointed out that several muslim dominated countries have reformed perceived regressive practices such as triple talaq polygamy and gender unequal inheritance let's also listen in to the goa chief minister pramod sawant who asked if goa can implement ucc then why can't other states the uniform civil code follow karne wale goa hai pehla rajya hai और पूरे देश में यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड फॉलो करना चाहिए जहाँ पे सभी जात धर्म के आधार पर यानी डिवाइड नहीं होना चाहिए सबके लिए एक ही कानून यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड होना जरूरी है और आज जो बात यानी तीन तलाक के ऊपर आई तभी उन्होंने कहा कि ये राजनीति जो कर रहे हैं बाकी दल कि सिर्फ ने कुछ जात के आधार पर धर्म के आधार पर यानी इस देश जो बांटना चाहते हैं उनके लिए मुझे लगता है कि ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने सही जवाब दिया है कि यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड कोड फॉलो करना जरूरी है समझो आगे जाना है नवभारत निर्माण के लिए यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड की जरूरत है इसलिए मुझे लगता है कि जिस तरह से गोवा में समझो फॉलो हो सकता है तो बाकी स्टेट में यू फॉलो करने के लिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं रहेगी So the legitimate question we are asking on the news are tonight is UCC polarizing or is it progressive that's the question and that's the debate coming up on the other side You're watching the news hour at 9 debate number 1 on times now super prime time Joining the debate tonight Dr Sudhanshu Trivedi member of parliament and senior national spokesperson of the BJP Ishkaran Bhandari advocate Dr Naval Kishor national spokesperson of the RJD Saeed Asim Bakar national spokesperson of the AIMIM will join us in just a bit Dr Fuad Halim spokesperson of the CPIM and uh, my first question goes to Tehseen Punawala political analyst supports the Congress party and Tehseen straight off the bat what's the problem one nation one law so that every woman whether she is a hindu whether she is a muslim whether she is a christian or a sikh has protection under the law as far as marriage rights are concerned as far as inheritance is concerned divorce is concerned where is the problem why is it being made into a hindu muslim matter completely Thank you so much, ma'am, for having me on the show. And this is a this is an important topic. First, to your first part of the question, protection for women under one law for one country. Ma'am, I married under the Special Marriage Act. It already exists, the Uniform Civil Code from Jammu and Kashmir, Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir to Kanyakumari, from Nagaland to Gujarat. There is a Special Marriage Code. One country, one civil law. But I agree to your question. women protection so why have religious laws i agree ask the hypocrites in the bjp and a lot of respect to danshu ji the member of parliament is there in the northeast they promised in the manifesto right now in the election they won that they will not implement ucc you know why they will not implement ucc ma'am you took the interview of the honorable chief minister of uh, goa in goa a hindu man about the age of 30 if he does not have a girl child can marry a second woman this is as of 2023 today in goa under the uniform civil code in gujarat from the where the most honorable prime minister the most honorable home minister come there is something called a matri karar where a hindu man can officially have a girlfriend officially have a girlfriend while being married ma'am the ucc has nothing to do with muslims the few report shows that more than uh, 80% of the girls married below the age of 10 are hindu girls not muslim girls 
please bring in the ucc but please tell me today when manipur is burning when in certain areas of india where tribals have their own customs that protect for example in nagaland certain tribes give their inheritance to the second son in law not even the first son in law in such in certain parts of india there are certain tribes which are matriarchal how are you going to bring that are you still going to have not is burned that is why in your manifesto the bjp put that we will not have the ucc now please go ahead and do it if you want to implement it but don't make this a hindu muslim issue if you really want to reform something for muslim women reform their personal laws but you will not do that and please answer me on the special marriage act under which i got married and respected sudan shu ji was there for my marriage it's a one law one country one civil law dr sudan shu trivedi please respond uh, to mr tehsin punawal uh first thing i would like to the example which tehsin has given if he is saying i do not know from where he is having that uh, data that uh, those who are married 10 years of age of girls they are 80% hindus and even if sir if any hindu marriages a 10 years old girl he is liable to be put in jail but not the muslim because they are having the uh, authority to marry even a 9 year old girl so that's what i am trying to say what you are projecting sir it means the founding fathers of the nation in the constituent assembly like dr baba saab ambedkar were wrong what you are trying to say and the supreme fundamental duties of the constitution which says that it shall implement whether there is no scope that it should be implemented or not should they shall implement was wrong at least five or six times supreme court has said around a dozen times the various high courts had said they were wrong and one more thing i would like to ask what the prime minister has said aap hi log to nara lagate the na hindu muslim sikh isai aapas mein hai bhai bhai ab char bhai ho ghar mein कह नहीं जी इनहेरिटेंस में हम एक को इस हिसाब से डील करेंगे दूसरे को इस हिसाब से डील करेंगे और तीसरे को इस हिसाब से डील करेंगे देन ऑब्वियसली देयर विल बी अ प्रॉब्लम एंड नाउ आई वांट टू आस्क वन थिंग ओके यू वांट टू हैव एन स्पेशल लॉ देन वे यू आर नॉट हैविंग ए स्पेशल लॉ इन टोटैलिटी व्हाई द रिलीजियस फीलिंग्स आर नॉट हर्ड इन हैविंग द कॉमन क्रिमिनल लॉ देन दे शुड हैव एन अटमोस्ट एडहेरेंस टू देयर रिलीजियस बिलीव कि चोरी करने पे हाथ कटवाए और शराब पकड़े पीते हुए पकड़े जाने पे सौ कोड़े लगवाए जाए और अगर कोई गलत काम करते पकड़े जाए तो पत्थर भी मारे जाए नो नो वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट दैट क्रिमिनल लॉ अवर रिलीजियस फीलिंग हर्ट इट्स ओनली हर्ट्स इन सिविल लॉ ओके इफ इट हर्ट्स इन सिविल लॉ देन इट इज अ सिविल मैटर टू गेट इंटरेस्ट फ्रॉम द बैंक एंड टू दी बेस्ट ऑफ माई नॉलेज इन इस्लाम गेटिंग एन इंटरेस्ट इज इलीगल then all of them should say that we will return back all the interest of the bank because that is automatically gets credited in the account no no that we can accept so i think the sheer hypocrisy is this that in the name of my religious belief first i am not ready to accept it in the criminal law second in the civil also i want to have a just a part of this by using which i can suppress the women i can suppress the lower caste in the muslims or the pasmanda to isliye hum ye kehna chahte hain agar ye bataiye shaadi biyah ki ek ho jaye baki aapka jo custom hai kariye no problem about that whatever custom you want to have you can have and second thing if there is a one rule for one wife and one husband for everybody what's the problem in it and the inheritance should be equal then fir aap po saptapadi se shaadi kariye ya maulvi se nikah padwa ke shaadi kariye everywhere you we can have whatever the authority from tribes and uh, navika ji kabhi kabhi mujhe bada ashar hota hai when they used to take an alibi of the tribes those who used to say even today ki humne 800 saal is desh pe hukumat ki those who used to say ki hum to zille ilahi the hum to shahanshah e alam the hum to badshah e alam gir the hum to sultan e alam huzur e nawab the now i want to say that if the tribals are having this then i should have a, this particular thing i think this is trying to have a fig leaf cover for the gross misconduct and one more thing i would like to say before 1939 it was a, a device by british government to divide and rule and if somebody is having problem i refer 23rd of november 1948 baba saab ambedkar in the constituent assembly has said that i am surprised that why they want a separate uh, law for uh, for separate religions even he has quoted after 1937 election in the pakistan today no northwest frontier province all were having the common law they were not having the muslim law 
and it was devised by Britishers to divide and rule. But still those who are having the hangover of the British colonial legacy still want to carry away the divide and rule policy. And that's why I can say a peculiar case in the entire world in democracy. The world common civil code is communal and a an special status is secular. Well, Saeed Asim Vakar. No, I'll come back to you, Tehseen. No, I'll come no, back to you, Tehseen. No. But Asim Vakar, sir. I want to ask you. One minute, I'll come back to you, Tehseen. He didn't reply on Maitri Karar. He didn't reply on Hindu men allowed to have... My friend, I will come back to you. No. Let me get in uh, Saeed Asim Vakar. Saeed Asim Vakar, now, what can be the problem if the girls, the Muslim girls, get their rights? अपने पिताजी से मिले अपनी जो वसीहत में पिताजी से वो भी उतना ही मांग सकती हैं जितना उनके भाई मांग सकते हैं या डाइवोर्स पर उनको क्या मिलना चाहिए ये भी उनके लिए तय होना चाहिए कानून के अंडर या फिर किसी भी बेटी बहन की शादी हो तो वो क्यों ऐसे परिवार में जाए जहां उसके शोहर को चार शादियों की इजाजत हो ये तो ये तो गलत है अन्याय है उसके साथ तो क्यों लड़कियों को ऐसी जगह धकेला जाए क्यों आप लड़कियों की तरफ से नहीं सोचते क्यों आप सिर्फ इस बात को सोचते हैं कि ये हमारा लॉ है आपका लॉ नहीं है सर ये कस्टम्स है और कहीं आप कस्टम्स को लॉ के साथ कंफ्यूज तो नहीं कर रहे नंबर एक और नंबर दो सती भी एक प्रथा थी सती को दूर किया गया क्योंकि वो सही प्रथा नहीं थी तो वो कस्टम था उसे हटाया गया क्योंकि वो ठीक नहीं था महिलाओं के लिए तो क्यों ना सोचा जाए अपने ही आ, मुल्क में अपनी ही बेटियों के बारे में क्यों आप सोचने से इतना आना कानी कर रहे देखिए सारा जो खेल शुरू हुआ ये जो सारा मामला शुरू हुआ वो शुरू हुआ माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जनाब नरेंद्र मोदी जी के अमेरिका के दौरे से भारत जैसे महान देश के प्रधानमंत्री से अमेरिका जैसे देश में एकदम से अचानक से किसी ने सवाल कर लिया कि आपके यहां मुसलमान अल्पसंख्यक सुरक्षित नहीं है आपके राज आपके जो राज्य है उसमें अब प्रधानमंत्री जी एकदम सकवका गए भारत के प्रधानमंत्री से दूसरे देश में ऐसा सवाल उनकी समझ में नहीं आया क्या करें चेहरा देखा होगा आपने उनका वो जवाब जैसे तैसे दिया फिर प्रधानमंत्री जी फौरन अमेरिका से निकले और मिस्र चले गए हमारे वही प्रधानमंत्री जो हिंदुस्तान में हमको कपड़ों से पहचानते थे वही प्रधानमंत्री जिनकी हुकूमत में मस्जिद तोड़ दी जाती है वो वहां मस्जिद में नंगे पैर चलने लगे उन्होंने मुसलमानों के बारे में बड़ी अच्छी बातें की आप ट्रिपल तलाक की बात कर रही हैं लेकिन जिस महिला की आप बात कर रही हैं वही महिला जो मुसलमान महिला है उसी की बच्ची जब हिजाब पहनकर स्कूल जाती है तो बहुत से भारतीय जनता पार्टी समर्थित लोग क्रिमिनल माइंडेड लोग उसके हिजाब को चिल्ला चिल्ला कर उस पर टिप्पणियां करते हैं नारे लगाते हैं उसका हिजाब नोचने की बात करते हैं वो भी महिला है मुसलमान बच्ची है उसकी बात क्यों नहीं कर रहे हैं आप इसी देश में हुआ है और एक देश में दो कानून कैसे हो जाएंगे सुधांशु जी को मैंने सुना इसी भारतवर्ष में अगर आप ये कह रहे हैं कि ट्रिपल तलाक नहीं दी जा सकती या ये नहीं हो सकता या वो नहीं हो सकता मुस्लिम महिला की सुधांशु त्रिवेदी जी मैंने प्रधानमंत्री जी का भाषण सुना उन्होंने कहा कि एक महिला को एक बच्ची को शादी करके अगर कोई पुरुष पंद्रह साल बाद तलाक दे देता है तो उसके भाई पे क्या बीतती है उसके बाप पे क्या बीतती है इसी देश में एक हिंदू बहन को जब तलाक नहीं दे नहीं दी जाती है और शादी के बाद बिना तलाक के अभिनंदन कर दिया जाता है तो क्या उस भाई के दिल पे बीतती होगी उस जो हिंदू बच्ची को छोड़ दिया जाता होगा उसका पति उसको पत्नी भी नहीं मान रहा है पत्नी का हक भी नहीं देता है उसका पिता भी तो है उनके दिल पर भी तो बीतती है जरा सोचिए आप मुसलमानों की बात कर रहे हैं आप पसमांदा की बात कर रहे हैं 
मैं इसी भारतवर्ष की बात कर रहा हूं जिस भारतवर्ष में मुसलमान अगर ईद और बकरीद में सड़क पर नमाज पढ़ ले तो मुकदमा दर्ज हो जाता है जेल चला जाता है लेकिन अगर हिंदू भाई पूजा कर ले तो कुछ नहीं होता है मैं इसी हिंदुस्तान की बात कर रहा हूं आप पसमांदा की बात कर रहे हैं अलीमुद्दीन अंसारी को काऊ विजिलेंट कतल कर देते हैं तबरेज अंसारी को मार देते हैं आफराजुल को मार देते हैं पहलू को मार देते हैं रकबर को मार देते हैं जुनेद और नासिर को मार देते हैं सब पसमांदा है आप पसमांदाओं की बात करते हैं असीम बकार साहब उदयपुर में कन्हैया को भी मारा जाता है उदयपुर में कन्हैया को भी मारा जाता है श्रद्धा को भी मारा जाता है पर वो आपको ख्याल नहीं आएगा क्योंकि क्योंकि आपके ख्याल में सिर्फ इसका एक ही डिफेंस है हिंदू मुस्लिम आपके तो ख्याल में बेटियों का डिफेंस नहीं है महिलाओं का डिफेंस नहीं है तो आप अपनी बेटियों को सशक्त नहीं करना चाहते आप सिर्फ अपनी वोट बैंक पॉलिटिक्स करना चाहते लेकिन आपने बहुत से सवाल उठाए सुधांशु जी जवाब दें नहीं बात पूरी नहीं हुई अभी एक लाइन आपकी बात आपकी बात ताऊर पूरी नहीं होगी लेकिन डिबेट में डिबेट में समय सीमित होता है आपकी बात तो ताऊर पूरी नहीं होगी लेकिन थोड़ा आपने जितना कहा उस पर जवाब सुन लीजिए आप बताओ बानो का इशू ये लोग जिन लोगों ने अपनी जाने गवाई है जो भी हुआ उसके लिए चौदह साल जेल में रहने के बाद लोग बाहर आए मगन सोमन कॉमन सिविल कोर्ट से क्या होगा भाई क्या तरीका है बार बार बीच मत बोलिए असीम अक्कर साहब आप बोल चुके देखिए इसी उत्तर प्रदेश में एक इमराना भी तो थी याद करिए इमराना के साथ उसके ससुर ने बलात्कार कर दिया उसके बाद मौलवी ने फतवा जारी कर दिया कि अब इसके बाद वो अपने ससुर की मां और अपने पति की सॉरी पति की मां ससुर की पत्नी हो गई और वो वैलिड कोई चू बोला कोई चू बोला सकते उनका सूरमा ऑल इंडिया मजल से इतिहादुल मुसलमीन के मुंह से मैंने मां भी नहीं सुना उस इमराना के नाम पे तो इस ढंग की जो मुस्लिम बेटियों के साथ हो रहा है यह होना बच जाएगा उसमें कानून में सब बराबर तोले जाएंगे और आज तक इनसे मैं पूछना चाहता हूं कि भाई दुनिया में कितने ऐसे मुस्लिम देश हैं जहां चार शादियों का विधान बताइए नहीं बता पाएंगे मगर यहां पे चाहिए और ये ऐसे ही नहीं चाहिए नाविका जी केटी हसन बोल चुके हैं सांसद हैं समाजवादी पार्टी के सांसद हैं वो कह चुके हैं कि साहब अगर कॉमन सिविल कोर्ट आ गया तुम लोग चार शादियां नहीं कर पाओगे शफीकुर रहमान बर्क आम आदमी पार्टी और सॉरी सपा के सांसद वो भी बोल चुके हैं तो ऐसा नहीं कि कोई मैं अनुमान से कयास से बोल रहा हूं इन लोगों के तो मन में यह बात रहती है हम तो सिर्फ एक सिंपल सी बात कहना चाहते हैं इस देश में एक विचित्र उदाहरण है जो मैं पहले भी बोल चुका हूं दुनिया में एक सेक्युलर देश बताइए असीम वकार साहब जहां शरिया को कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वैलिडिटी प्राप्त है सिर्फ मुस्लिम देश में होती है यूनियन में सिंगल सेक्युलर कंट्री और नॉन मुस्लिम कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड इन विच The Sharia is over and above the Supreme Court, like in uh, Shabano case. One non-Muslim country, tell me, where the Muslims get their money. One non-Muslim country, tell me, where the subsidy is received. One non-Muslim country, tell me, where the time is given. In the name of equality, you have made India a partially constitutionally partial Muslim country. Partially Muslim country. Otherwise, you have made India a partially constitutionally partial Muslim country. Otherwise, the due humility, you got a single secular country in the entire earth, which has these five things. This was the problem. Now we want to make India a two secular country and an equality to all. India got independence in forty-seven. The democracy got matured in seventy-seven. In nineties, the intellectual and media got uh, uh, democratized, and the backward classes got their right. And now the ray of democracy should reach to the Muslim women and the Muslim backwards also. बट जिनकी अपनी अपनी हुकूमत अपनी अपनी जागीरें हैं वो नहीं देना चाहते हैं समस्या ये लेट मी गेट इन डॉक्टर फुआद हलीम डॉक्टर फुआद हलीम आई वांट टू आस्क यू विच कंट्री गिव्स यू द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ योर पर्सनल लॉज इज इट देयर इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका इज इट देयर इन द यूके इज इट देयर इन एनी ऑफ द डिवेलप्ड कंट्रीज वाई सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स आफ्टर आर इंडिपेंडेंस आर वी स्टिल डिबेटिंग दिस इशू दिस इज ऑल्सो अबाउट एम्पावरमेंट how come everything in this country is turned into a debate about majoritarianism and minority i want to ask you what about the rights of women in different uh, 
you know, in, in different communities? Are they not important? And as the question raised by uh, Dr. Sudhan Shutrivedi, Shah Bano case, I mean, maintenance not being given to her and the parliament being used to turn an existing law by bringing in a new law. I mean, don't we carry the cross in our hearts, Dr. Fuad Ali? <clears throat> well, number one, you know, I think so. Siddhanthu Trivedi Saab is slightly bereft from the history of his own party regarding the Uniform Civil Code. Let me tell you, the first time the Bharatiya Janata Party took an official position, public position on Uniform Civil Code was when it introduced it in the election manifesto in 1998. And after being in government for six years, they did pay just lip service to it. Then they forgot about it for almost 21 years and they reintroduced it in the election manifesto in 2019. You know, in 21 years, the Uniform Civil Court was absolutely... Sudhanshu Trivedi is contesting your facts. Sudhanshu Trivedi is contesting your facts. He is contesting your facts. Sudhanshu Trivedi, which fact are you contesting? Sir, I am contesting your fact. 1980 onwards, you cannot quote a single manifesto in which the Common Civil Court is not there. Please don't misguide the people. Let me let this sir, ekdam blatant. Oh, you uh, you, you speak speak according, according to your time. Advani ji ki yatra ke samay Bharatiya Janata Party was formed in which year, sir? No, no. Bharatiya Janata Party was formed in which year, sir? 1980. Was it formed 1980 onwards, you cannot quote a single manifesto existing? in which Article 370, Ram Temple and Common Civil Court was not there. I am requesting. I am requesting you a simple question, sir. Was the Bharatiya Janata Party formed in 1980, sir? So let me finish. On the question of facts, let us finish. Okay. Party Janta Party now, coming to the, form the, form in the parliament, even during Jansang, it was in our issue. 1951 onwards. And you are saying 1998. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, sir. I, I'm just saying in your election manifesto, okay. it came. You might say it might have been there or not. That is for you to prove. I am putting the facts that are available to me. If you look at parliamentary what you call movements, then in November 2019, a private member's bill was introduced by one gentleman, which was withdrawn after some time. Then in March 2020, again, a private member's bill was introduced, and that's where it stands at the moment. Now, the Uniform Civil Code has to be taken up in a very, very, what you call cordial matter with all religions having their discussions and their what you call religious leaders contributing to it. Now primarily the Hindu court bill covers the Hindu, the Sikh, the Buddhist and the Jain population. Now there is huge reconciliation that these communities have to put forward as to what they are going to give up from the Hindu court bill once they come into the yeah, uniform yeah. civil court. So I think so. The larger context that is here at the moment is to take up decisions, discussions by Narendra Modi with the Sankracharya, with the Akal Tak leaders, with the leaders of the various what you call uh, Panths that are there of the Jains and the Buddhist monasteries and reconcile that question that when the Hindu code bill is converted to the uniform civil code as to whether they are willing for it or not. Now the people who are not within the Hindu code bill, that is the Muslims, the Christians, the Jews and the Parsis who have the separate what you call personal laws that are there, definitely a discussion has to be initiated as to what territory can be explored. But this territory is infractuous at this point of time. Why, why are the Muslims, the Christians, the Jews and the Parsis becoming the center of the discussion today when the larger part of the population who are run by the Hindu code bill, they have to be brought into the discussion, they have oh, to be made agreeable. If I understand and they you, have to come if I understand you, Dr. Fuad Ali, for the first time the in history, you are worried about the code. larger part of India, mm -hmm. which consists of Hindus. Now, that mm -hmm. clearly is a welcome step, but uh, let me also tell no, you no, that you, you are... very clear, Navika, you know, that's a discussion. That, that's a discussion. But who because has given the you the impression that those discussions will not issues. take place? Which who has told discussion. you that those discussions will not take place? I'm coming to you, Sudhanshu no, Trivedi ji, but I, let me I, get I, in Ishkaran Bandari. Ishkaran Bandari, the emphasis I, is on discussion like, with other like religions to, uh, in the Hindu segment, uh, the Shankracharyas, etc., etc., and 
the mm. emphasis on, is on the word cordial now i want to now ask it, you ishkaran bandari what is dr fuad halim alluding to navika ji instead of a rhetorical speech on hypothetical situations going around in jalebis let us talk with specific facts i will give you one recent case one javed 26 year old wanted his 16 year old wife to live with him who was staying in the protective custody of a child home the punjab and haryana high court after seeing the law came to a conclusion that under muslim personal law as well as the president of other high court judgments that young girl child has to go back to the petitioner and not stay in the children's home that is a factual real life situation where other daughters are protected under restraint of child marriage act where other daughters are protested against the posco act the criminal laws but under muslim law a girl child of 16 was given to a 26 year old man then the matter went to the honorable supreme court which it should notice and said please do not take this case as a precedent but multiple high courts because that is the personal law what will the high court do interpret the law multiple judgments of high courts have come on personal law with 16 17 year old daughters of india are not getting the protection not getting the right to develop grow mature get yourself educated and then marry which is been taken away that is a factual situation let's not be in rhetorical situations second aspect of this case please be clear what the britishers wanted to do they had a common criminal code they had a common commercial law code contract act specific relief act limitation act why because they wanted to make money and they wanted to have law and order in personal law they did not cover the hindus hindus had their personal laws the muslims had their personal laws so what did the constitution maker said they said at one time we will have one uniform civil code but the first prime minister mr jawahar lal nehru said hindu code bill will come but we will not bring a muslim code bill how could the constitution framers think that this will happen in fact now i will not quote a jansang leader i will quote a socialist leader mr kriplani he accused nehru government of being communal saying you are covering hindus but you are not giving the protection to muslim daughters mr nehru said the time is not yet right after 75 years is the time still not right will we still not protect all the daughters we have done this in jammu and kashmir by abrogating article 370 where we all know what happened to the property rights of women but that has to be done across india and anybody objecting to that is objecting to the basic rights of a woman getting the same rights that everybody should have do you actually support talaq 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 and a woman being out that has to be done on a basis of civilization on human rights on any modern democratic society no matter what be the protest because these protests were there in 1950s they will be there in 2050 3050 if the government does not bite the bullet and give equal protection to everybody that's the factual position well professor uh, navel kishor i want to ask you 16 saal ki bachiyon ke sath is tarah se ho aapko manzoor hai you don't want them to be protected under the uh, child marriage act should they not be protected or should the personal laws uh, you know be applied to them why why are you making it an issue of political strife when it is actually a social reform that is waiting to be done and that should have been done years and years ago navika ji i do not know why you are putting this whole exercise or the uh, process that bjp is trying to make they have a single agenda of communalizing the society but you want to making a gender issue i am very surprised that why you want to make this a gender issue why not and yes, by by why, you no. see it you see it no, as no. a communal no, agenda no. i am a woman i see it as a gender gender issue a woman empowerment issue Yes. Yes, I, I do I, see I, it. And will yeah, you go? I, will you go by my feeling, or will I be governed by your feelings? We'll be governed by the constitutional feeling. Let's so be the very constitution clear. Sec, uh, constitution sec in the directive principle no, section, no. Article forty four uh, point number four talks about a uniform civil code. What Let's talk, talk about the constitution. Hey, what does what does it talk? Please tell me. Even Sudhansu ji recently said that uh, the word "sell" is used. The word which is used is "sell" and "dear word." and that means we'll try the process prayas kiye jayenge thope nahi jayenge jo thopne ka karan aur jo thopne ka prayas hai aap inse hi ummeed karte hain pahlwan betiyan kehti rahi aandolan karti rahi inhone kya kiya unki ladai bhi hum hum lad rahe hain hum baaki mahilaon ki bhi ladenge par shall gives them the you know complete exit 
एक्सिट क्लॉज कि यहां से बाहर निकल जाओ कभी भी प्रयास करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है डॉक्टर सुधांशु त्रिवेदी जवाब दे नवल जी को नहीं नहीं सेल एंड एवर में 2018 भी था लॉ कमीशन का वो क्या था वॉट वॉज दैट तो 2018 में नहीं बनी सहमति उनको नहीं दो, लगा दो हजार तेईस पांच साल बाद है भाई साहब पांच साल में दुनिया बदल जाती है आजकल वी आर इन द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी बहन जी ये लोग रोज बदल देंगे आप मौका देंगे ना तो रोज ये हिंदू मुसलमान करेंगे आपको नहीं पता है क्या ये रोज हिंदू मुसलमान करते हैं ये ये मोदी जी की सरकार है जो कि मुद्दे पे कभी नहीं बात करती है मुद्दे मुद्दे पे कभी नहीं बात करती है आप देख लीजिए इनको ओके मुद्दों पे ओके सुधांशु जी इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू यू सुधांशु जी इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू यू नाविका जी नवल जी रिप्रेजेंट ए पार्टी हुज वोट बैंक इन द पॉपुलर पब्लिक परसेप्शन इज नोन एज एम वाई इन विच द एम इज फर्स्ट एंड नाउ दे आर ट्राइंग हिंदुत्व क्या है एंड द मिलियंस ऑफ व्यूअर्स विच आर वॉचिंग दिस दे आर सेंग दिस इज नॉट द वुमेन इशू दिस इज नॉट द जेंडर इशू दिस इज दमनल इशू मैं जस्ट एक बात क्या तरीका वट आर यू टॉक माइनोरिटी राइट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में नहीं है क्या फंडामेंटल राइट नवल नवल किशोर जी यू मेड योर पॉइंट यू मेड योर पॉइंट ना प्लीज अलाउ हिम टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू यू नवल जी आई लैव टू लोअर योर फेडर आई लैव टू लोअर योर फेडर यू मेड योर पॉइंट ही इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू यू ही फॉर एज मिसलीडिंग इज कंसर्न I want to make it very clear. They go the Constituent Assembly debate on which the issue of the world secular and minority was discussed, and it was categorically concluded under the chairmanship of Baba Sahab Ambedkar that if the world secular is to be there, then the minorities should not be there, because in nowhere in the entire world you can find a religious minority in a secular country, and if the minority has to be there, then the secular should not be there. so that was the secular world was rejected by the constitution because pandit nehru was too much insistent of having minority but in 1976 we became a very unique peculiar example in the world that we became a secular country with minority commission wow are bhai kisi religious country mein minority hota hai religious minority par secular country mein ho gaya koi baat nahi but navika ji i am very much uh, uh, you can say uh, surprised with the response of fawad halim saab he was saying that we have introduced in 1998 are bhai 96 mein jab 13 din ki sarkar thi to ye kaha gaya tha hamare in teen muddon ke wajah se koi hame support nahi kar raha hai unhone nazar aa raha 98 mein mudda tha chaliye wo koi baat nahi usse zyada important baat ye ye hindu code bill keh rahe sir during the nehru time it was called hindu code bill not because it was having something to do with hindus because the nehru government was not having a docility or hasiyat to implement on the other minorities so it was only applicable on hindus that why it was called hindu marriage act that was that why it was called hindu code bill it is not that the hindu code bill is implemented on them i think those who are well learned should not speak of this type of thing and one more thing mr fawaz halim represents the cpim communist party who uses to have a strong aversion to religion who used to say that they should totally shed away their connections with religion and now they are giving sir, a sermon kishan chhare se baat karo sudhan sir saab i think so karo. you need to Christian come Christian to Christian. the core that's question. how the character come of politicians the core question with the as and as when their political all the religions no we can understand sir. we can understand the party you. whose official philosophy says that the religion the is an opium now having an official party. understanding with indian secular front in bengal जो पीर ज्यादा अब्बास इन अ डिस्कशन टू मूव अहेड ऑन द यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड वेल डॉक्टर फॉर अलीम टू यू दट पॉइंटेड क्वेश्चन द पॉइंटेड आंसर इज अ सर्वे इज बींग कंडक्टेड बाय द लॉ कमीशन एंड दैट टू माई माइंड इज अ कॉर्डियल मैन Manner of discussing the whole no, issue no, that, and uh, the feedback, the, the feedback that will come why from the government will come in a cordial manner, uh, Doctor Fuad Halim. But but to the 
Yasin Poonawala, my friend, I just want to end I, with I, this last comment. And this is what Dr. B.R. Ambedkar had said about personal laws. And this was in the Constituent Assembly. You know what he said? I personally do not understand why religion should be given this vast expansive jurisdiction so as to cover the whole of life and to prevent the legislature from encroaching upon that field. After all, what are we having this liberty for? We are having this liberty in order to reform our social system, which is so full of inequities, so full of inequalities, discriminations and other things which conflict with our fundamental rights. It is therefore quite impossible for anybody to conceive that the personal law shall be excluded from the jurisdiction of the state. Now, you can't be having a problem with Dr. Ambedkar, uh, Tehseen Punawala. And if right. it is an objection that you have, then it's only on the name of Modi. Ki Modi bolega, to humko bukhar chadega. Dr. Ambedkar ka mene aapko statement bataya, you are clean polled. We I'm leave it at right. that for now because the UCC is being put out, has been put out by the Law Commission. We'll have to wait and watch what the debate turns out to be because people have to respond by the 14th of July. Will this debate go forward? Will it become a reality? We'll have to wait because this is the road to 2024 elections and this is in the agenda, in the manifesto of the BJP along with Ram Mandir which has become a reality in January will be seen by the nation through Article 370, which has become a reality. What about the UCC? Let's wait out. The jury is out. Thank you very much to my panelists joining me on debate number one. On the other side of the news are we look at perhaps the second most important message by the Prime Minister today. It was meant for the voters.